Can you guess why I look like this? To know that, we have to go back a few days. It all started when we had a question. Why should we sleep? Of course, we know the obvious answers, but what is the scientific reasoning behind sleep? So I did some research and wanted to test it out on myself so that you don't have to. In fact, I'm recording this video with only two hours of sleep in the last 36 hours. And the results were not ideal. While forcefully trying to stay awake, I noticed a few things. I had a hard time staying absolutely alert. I was increasingly tired during the day. I was lethargic. I wasn't able to take decisions. My body weight went up by one kilogram by the end of it. I couldn't think, process or remember information. Why did all of this happen? Welcome back to another episode of Stay Curious with Alison. To understand why all of this happened to me, we need to first understand something about hormones. Fundamentally speaking, hormones are our body's messengers. They control and regulate our bodily functions. There's a direct connection between sleep and hormones. One impacts the other. And when you don't sleep enough, there's going to be a lot of imbalance in your hormonal activity. And that comes with a lot of problems. Let's look at a few of these hormones. Number one, the human growth hormone. We're all cells arranged in different ways. Right? The human growth hormone is responsible for cell growth and cell repair. This hormone increases when we sleep. So if you don't sleep enough, it is not going to do its job properly. Like I said, my cravings went up and I put on about a kg of body weight. Why did that happen? The answer to that lies in our hunger hormones. We all have two most important hunger hormones. They are called ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin tells our body to eat. It is responsible for the hunger we feel. It makes us go. I, I need to have that burger. Leptin, on the other hand, it stops us. It regulates the amount of food we take. It makes us go, okay, I've had enough of that. How is this important? When we sleep, there's a proper balance between ghrelin and leptin. But when we don't, ghrelin increases and leptin decreases. Now, when that happens, we are going to eat a lot more than what we are supposed to, saying goodbye to our diet plan. Hormone number three, insulin. In simple words, it allows our cells to take in glucose from the food we take as energy and it regulates the amount of blood sugar levels. Now, if we don't sleep well, our cells are not going to properly respond to insulin and over time, that means... In fact, there are a lot of other things that happen when we sleep. Nerve cells, they communicate with each other, they delete unnecessary data and reorganize themselves. This allows our brain to focus and function better and be able to take better decisions throughout the day. Not sleeping enough can lead to a lot of other health related issues like high blood pressure, diabetes, strokes, obesity, depression and reduced immune system function. Getting a good night's rest is absolutely critical. Let me give you an example. Look at this car. If you drive it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, it is eventually going to break down. Our bodies work in the same way. You see, in a world where hustle culture is glorified and working for longer hours is appreciated, it is really important to prioritize our health and the first step to doing that is getting a good night's rest. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow us for more. See you in the next video. Until then, good night.